Pope Francis has just published a wonderful new apostolic exhortation called Gaudete et Exultate, or in English, Rejoice and Be Glad, which is exactly what Jesus told us to do in the Sermon on the Mount. Why rejoice and be glad? Because God calls us all to be saints. In this new document, Pope Francis gives us his trademark practical advice on how to be holy. So here are my top five takeaways from Rejoice and Be Glad. First, holiness means being your full self. Pope Francis offers us many examples of holy lives throughout the document. Saint Therese of Lisieux, who found holiness in doing small tasks. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, who sought to find God in all things. And Saint Philip Neri, who was renowned for his sense of humor. The saints pray for us and give us examples of how to live our lives. But Pope Francis says that we're not meant to be cookie cutter versions of the saints. We're meant to be ourselves. Francis says that everyone should discern his or her own path to holiness and bring out the very best of themselves. You don't need to be a bishop, a priest, or a member of a religious order to be holy. Everyone can strive for sanctity, whether you're a mother or a father, a teacher or a janitor. Pope Francis says that holiness means living our lives in love and bearing witness to God in the things we do every day, like raising children or in what he calls small gestures, like deciding not to pass on gossip. If you see your life as a mission, says Francis, it will help you understand how even your daily activities, even the smallest, can move you to holiness. Pope Francis may send some people racing to their dictionaries or theology textbooks when he tells us to avoid two dangers in the spiritual life. The first is Gnosticism, the heresy that says that what matters most is what you know, that there's no need to be charitable or do good works. Pope Francis writes, when somebody has an answer for everything, for every question, it's a sign that they are not on the right path. Being a know-it-all is not going to save you. The second tendency to avoid is Pelagianism, the idea that we don't need God's grace to be saved and that we can do it all on our own. The Pope says that sometimes people who are Pelagians have an absorption with social and political advantages and a punctilious concern for the Church's liturgy, doctrine, and prestige. Overall, Pelagianism robs us of humility. Gaudete et Exultate is filled with practical advice for living a life of holiness. For example, don't gossip, stop judging, and most of all, stop being mean. That goes for online actions, too. Francis says that in social media, defamation and slander can become commonplace, since things can be said there that would be unacceptable in public discourse, as people look to compensate for their own discontent by lashing out at others. So be kind, even online. The Beatitudes are not only what Jesus means when he speaks of holiness, they are also a portrait of our Lord himself. We should emulate him in our road to holiness. So we're called to be poor in spirit, meek, peacemakers, and a hunger and thirst for righteousness. Francis highlights in particular the beatitude, blessed are the merciful. He says that mercy, which has been a theme of his papacy, has two aspects, helping and serving others, but also forgiving and understanding. Because Jesus doesn't say, blessed are those who plot revenge. So, based on the Beatitudes, what is Francis's overall summary of holiness? Seeing and acting with mercy. To learn more about Pope Francis's latest document, please visit americamagazine.org. Thank you.